Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of November. I'm excited to share two different options with you guys. I've been comparing a couple of different boxes on my channel because BoxyCharm now has BoxyCharm. They've also had BoxyLux for most of 2019, but they just added BoxyCharm Premium. So in today's video, I have the regular BoxyCharm box, which looks like this, and then I also have the BoxyCharm Premium box. The regular BoxyCharm box is $25 a month. This one comes with five full-size products, and the value of the box is always over $125, and you do get the option to choose one of the products that you get in your box, which I love. I love being able to customize in any way possible, so I think that's a nice benefit. They just introduced BoxyCharm Premium, Premium, which is a little bit bigger. This one retails for $35. You get six to seven full-size products, and the value of this one is over $175. Again, you do get to choose one product. And then they also have Boxy Lux, which comes every three months. So there are a lot of different options. I know it can sound a little bit confusing at first, but I'll put more information in the description box below in case you guys are curious about the different options. BoxyCharm did send these to me in the mail, so I figured I would compare them for you guys since I did receive them, and we can see if Boxy Charm Premium is worth the extra money. I also pay for my own BoxyCharm subscription every month because I love it. I also get Boxy Lux, so it's something that I do buy every month, but my personal subscription hasn't come yet, and I figured I would get this video up for you guys as soon as possible. The last thing that I always like to mention is if they are running a promotion. So right now, if you join, they're running the same promotion as last month, and new subscribers will actually get a free Tarte palette with their first box. So there is the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette, which I do own, it's one of my favorites, or the Tarte Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette. So they're each valued at $45. So if you've been wanting to try BoxyCharm, that might be an added benefit that you are interested in checking out. So I'll put a link below, but let's jump into it and I'll kick it off with the regular box. So I kind of cheated because I knew we were getting this product. So I like opened my box and just grabbed this without looking at anything else because I really wanted to use it today. I could not wait. This is the Domini Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette. And a bunch of you guys told me we were getting this and I was so excited because I was actually considering purchasing the Celestial Storm Palette, which is the larger version of this. I love that there is a perfect mix between cooler tones and warm tones. There are some colorful shades, some neutral shades. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do something like really warm and intense or something a little bit more smoky but I've been all about cool toned smoky eyes this fall season so I took the shade at zero gravity and used that as a transition color and also in the crease and then I took the shade black matter on my ring finger and placed it all over the lid and then took a little bit of the shade eternal light and just kind of like lightly placed that on top and that's it the only other shadow that I used in today's look was like a matte brow bone highlight but otherwise it was like a super, super simple smoky eye. I feel like my right eye is blended better than my left eye, but that's only because I was in a hurry and I was just kind of going at it quickly. But this palette is great if you are in a hurry, but you still want to incorporate some colorful tones because they really blend out so easily. And Domini Cosmetics makes one of my favorite formulas. I have the berries and cream palette. It's great. This one is really nice as well. So I am so excited that we got this. Okay, the next thing in here is from Dose of Colors. This is one of their liquid matte lipsticks and I got the shade Charm. It's more of like a brick red, which I think is really gorgeous, really perfect for the fall season. I also think it would pair well with the eyeshadow palette. So I'm excited that we got that. I do think it's nice to have some liquid lipstick options in my collection for those days where I do want like a true long lasting lip. Okay, the next thing in here is from Pretty Vulgar. Oh, I remember why they decided to include these. So they said they're going to start adding more complexion products to our boxes. But in order to do that, they were going to send us a little like complexion swatch pack so we could see which shade would work well for us and then go online and share that information. So in the future, when they include complexion products, hopefully they will be a good match for us. So definitely make sure to do that. I will probably end up wearing the shade Fair, but I'm also excited to try out this concealer because the few products that I've tried from Pretty Vulgar have been really, really good. So I don't think this counts as one of the products. It's just an extra to make sure they get our complexion shades right. Okay, the next thing in here comes in this little BoxyCharm bag. So let me open it up. Obviously it is makeup brushes. You guys know that I love getting makeup brushes in my subscription boxes. These feel really nice. 
So these are actually BoxyCharm branded brushes. So it's not a collaboration with another company. There is a larger brush, which they say you can use for liquids, powders, creams. I would probably use this one for foundation application because I love a large brush. It just blends everything out very, very quickly. But I also think it might be nice for powder as well. The smaller one will be great for cream contouring, blending out your concealer. If you do want a little bit more of a small, precise foundation brush, that would be great as well but they feel really nice. They're very soft. I typically do love a good dense brush for applying my foundation. So I am looking forward to trying these out. I don't have anything like these, so it will be fun. It says that they are synthetic and cruelty-free, which is great, and this retails for $35. They are pretty weighted, like they do feel like high-quality brushes. Okay, so the next thing in here is by the brand Kuipers. I think this is a skincare product. It says that it is an antioxidant dew quench and glow serum. I personally have not heard of this brand. So it says to apply several drops of this to clean skin in the morning and at night. And then it says you can use it as a lightweight hydrator or as a layering piece in your skincare wardrobe. So let me try it out. So it has like a dropper type applicator and ooh, it feels very, very nice. It has like a light silky feel to it. Again, I'll definitely be trying this out. I love getting skincare products because they tend to be very expensive. So it is nice getting them in subscription boxes. And this one seems very promising. And then the last thing in the box is by the brand Lily Lashes. I've actually never tried this brand, but I hear a lot of people talk about this brand. So these are of course false lashes. They are faux mink lashes and you can use them up to 20 times. I miss false lashes so much. I haven't worn false lashes for years because right now I'm wearing eyelash extensions, but before that I just really preferred to go in with mascara. But whenever I see like a really pretty pair of false lashes, I just wish that I wore them again. So I will probably pass these along because I won't be able to use them due to my eyelash extensions. But if you are a fan of Lily Lashes, I'm sure you're glad that we got these in our box. So that is everything that I got in the regular Boxy Charm box. I actually feel like this was a really good month. I am so excited about this eyeshadow palette. And then the serum honestly seems very promising. So I can't wait to incorporate that into my skincare routine. And then of course I love getting brushes. The liquid lipstick is fun. So overall, this is a really good box and I'm excited about it. So I am even more excited to see how the Boxy Charm Premium box compares because this one was so good. Okay, so the first thing in here is something that I did see online as a spoiler, and it's something that I am excited they decided to include because I actually have this and I love this. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. So let me actually grab mine so I can save this one and include it in the giveaway. So again, if you guys are interested, just check the description box below. But it's one of my favorite purchases from 2019. So keep in mind that mine has been used and loved. I really enjoy this product. It comes with two different cream cheek products, which are great because you can use them with your fingers, with a sponge, with a brush. They're very, very easy to apply. And then two different powder products. One is a little bit more of like a true intense highlighter. And then one can be used as a highlighter or a blush. And they're just very effortless. You can build them up, you can sheer them out. And overall, this palette is really, really beautiful. I think it's so much fun. So if you guys got this in the box, you'll have to let me know how you like it. But it's definitely one of my favorite purchases of 2019. Okay, the next thing in here is from Kopari. I've only tried a couple of products from Kopari, but I know a lot of people love this brand. This is their Coconut Rose Toner and perfect timing because I just ran out of my toner. I'm currently using like a sample size toner that I got in like from like a Sephora order or something. So perfect because now I don't need to purchase one. Okay, so it says after cleansing, spritz onto a clean face or use as a midday refresh. I don't typically love spray toners. I like something that you can actually, you know, put onto like a cotton pad and I just feel like I get more of like an even application, but I assume you can spray this directly onto a cotton pad as well. The box says that this tightens pores, restores your skin's natural balance. I will definitely try this out. It is vegan non-GMO, cruelty-free, paraben-free. So I'm excited. Coconut rose sounds like the perfect combination to me. Let me just spray a little bit. It kind of has like a very subtle rose scent. It's not anything overwhelming. So I will definitely be testing this out today. It does look like we got a couple more brushes in the premium box. Okay, so we did get the large powder brush again, and then we also got like the smaller foundation brush, which is great. So the additional brushes in this collection look like eye brushes. But again, they're kind of like an interesting shape. So I assume that 
you could use them on the face as well, especially this one. This would be really great for detail work. I'd probably use it to blend out concealer. That's how I'll use it tomorrow for the first time. And then we got a nice flat brush, which would be really nice to carve out the brows or maybe use for like cream shadow all over the lid. And then there is more of a traditional looking brush. This would be great for, um, why am I blanking? For eyeshadow in the crease. So there are three smaller brushes alongside of the two larger brushes. So they say that this retails for $65. So we did get something from Becca. This is their Glow Gloss and I got the shade Champagne Cream. I've actually been wanting to try the Becca glosses for a while. I've just kind of seen them online. They've always looked really beautiful. And this one looks like a pretty shimmery nude with some gold in it. I think it would look really pretty on top of a lip liner or a nude lipstick. It's probably not a shade that I would wear on its own unless I wanted like a true sheer wash of color, but I usually like something that has a little bit more color. So I do think it could be so pretty on top of a nude lipstick. That's probably how I'll try it, but the packaging is beautiful. And if it's anything like other Becca products, I think it's going to be really good. Okay, the next thing in here is from QMS Medi Cosmetics. It is their intensive eye care. Oh, it's an eye cream. Again, you guys, I love getting skincare. Skincare products can be so, so expensive. So whenever we get them in a subscription box, it makes me very happy. I feel like it's hard to swatch an eye cream and know how it's going to work because I want something that's going to keep my under eye area very hydrated, but I also want something that feels smooth. So when I apply makeup, it just goes on really nicely. So this one does feel really nice, you know, based on the initial touch. But again, I have to like actually apply it to see how it works. Let me see what the card says. It says that it's supposed to rejuvenate, hydrate, and care for sensitive skin around the eye. Guys, this retails for $150. That is an expensive eye cream. I feel like my $30 eye cream, I think it's like $30 from Ula Henriksen, is expensive and I hesitate to buy that one. So this one, that is a high retail value. So we'll see if it's worth the money, if it performs a lot better than mine, the one that I normally use. I probably wouldn't have swatched so much on the back of my hand. Like I was just like grabbing it and swatching it. So that was one, two, three, four, five products, if you count the brushes as one. And then the sixth product is from Dragon Beauty. Oh, I think this is, um, why am I blanking on her name? I feel like my mind is just it's not its best today. Oh, Nikita Dragon. I think this is Nikita Dragon's line. You know what? Let me just reference the card. I feel like that would be the best for all of us right now. So this is the Dragon Beauty Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. It says that it works well on all skin tones. It's supposed to conceal, correct... Oh my gosh, this is not the color that I was expecting. It's supposed to conceal, correct, and perfect the appearance of dark circles, discoloration, blemishes. Okay, that makes more sense because I know a lot of people... When they do color correcting, they do tend to prefer to go in with a shade like this on their face. If I had just unboxed this, I totally would have thought it was a liquid lipstick, so good thing I read about it. Oh wow, that is super intense. I personally don't do a lot of color correcting. The most that I'll do is go in with like a slightly green toned primer if my skin is super red, but I don't actually struggle with really, really intense dark circles. This feels really nice though. I mean, it doesn't... It does feel like a concealer, but it's like a lot more lightweight and creamy than a concealer. Let me see if I can like really blend it out because it is pretty intense. So I have a little bit of my Too Faced uh, Born This Way concealer. I'm just going to apply a little bit on top and we'll see if it kind of hides that underneath. I don't know. I mean, I did go in with a lot of that orange color corrector, but like, could you guys imagine if this was my face right now? I would have like super orange under eyes. Let me just go in with a really, really small amount, like that much and see how that works. Because in all honesty, if I was going to color correct like dark circles, that would make a lot more sense. So that's what it looks like blended out. Again, that's still kind of a lot. So I feel like you would really just need like a very, very small amount. So let me apply some concealer on top. That's probably how much concealer I would go in with and we'll see if that works. That's what it looks like. It did kind of hide the orange color corrector, but at the same time, like the whole shade just looks a lot darker. So maybe she has some different shades available. I don't know. If you guys try it out, you'll have to let me know. It feels like a nice product. Like if she was to create concealers in this formula, I think they would be so beautiful on the skin. 
But as somebody who doesn't do a lot of color correcting, I might not be the best judge of this product. So that's everything I got inside the premium box. I think it was such a good box. This was the very first premium box. So, you know, we'll definitely see how it continues to stack up. If you guys want to see additional like premium box unboxings, let me know and I can continue to film those on my channel. So like I said, there are some additional benefits. You know, they have the complexion customization. So make sure to fill that out online once you swatch them to see which shade works well for you. They will be doing boxy pop-up again. I actually shopped the first boxy pop-up and it was really great. The deals were so good. I got like a full-sized Kula sunscreen, which is sitting over there. That's why I'm pointing over there for like $10. And then I got a high-end shampoo and conditioner duo for like $10. So I am looking forward to seeing what they have available. This card actually says the next boxy pop-up is Tuesday, November 12th, and it will be happening every three months. There was another thing that I wanted to mention. Oh, the add-ons. So you can shop add-ons and add products onto your box. They ship separately from your box, but I kind of looked at them. I didn't choose anything for the month of November, but they will have new products available every month. Let me know what type of BoxyCharm videos you want to see on my channel, whether you want to see like BoxyCharm and BoxyCharm Premium unboxed every month, or you want to see all three on the months that I get BoxyLux. Let me know and I can film them for you guys, but I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.